Hi, and welcome to the New York Stock Exchange. I'm here with ICAP's Managing Director, Kenny Polcari. First of all, Kenny, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. You've been here for nearly three decades. And how has the trading floor evolved over the years? Oh, uh, wow. You know, that is such a loaded question because uh, the transformation that the trading floor has gone under and really what the market has gone under in three decades has been, has been nothing short of really phenomenal, right? When you think about when I came here back in the 1980s, uh, there were 5,500 people down here. It was all done on paper. There was zero technology. There weren't even overhead screens like there are today. You know, that transition started to happen in late 1982 and 1983. And then as we move through the decades, you know, technology technology started to gain a foothold and more and more. And then ultimately decimalization caused this massive shift in, uh, in trading and really brought to light the handheld technology, the ability, you know, the, and it went through a number of iterations. I remember the first set of handheld, uh, handheld devices were very heavy and clunky and had a battery that you used to have to wear on your waist. It lasted for about 40 minutes. It was really, uh, it's been really amazing to kind of watch that whole transition take place. And today we have this very futuristic, modern technology technologically savvy uh, marketplace, which uh, is vastly different than it was. There are certainly less people down here today, but the people that are here are actually more productive. Because of the high volatility in the market right now, has your approach changed at all? And also, are your customers more inclined, or less inclined rather, to take risks? Well, you know, that's, a, that, that's really a two-part question, right? So from the one point, it's, it, it's, the market is more fragmented. So as a result, it's a matter of being able to connect to the different um, market data, the market centers, right? It's not all just at the New York Stock Exchange anymore. As we now know, there are nine different exchanges and as many as 50 or 60 different dark pools, which you need to have access to. So it's a sense of really, for a lot of people, was relearning, someone like me, was relearning how to, how to trade in a fragmented marketplace. You've got um, young men and women that come in today that don't know it any other way. So for them, I think it's easier to, to, uh, to, to get used to it. Um, but for me, you know, and for, and for guys of my, men and women of my generation, it was this learning process of, of learning, almost developing a sixth sense on how to access and feel where the liquidity was in alternative venues versus the way it used to be. Now, from a, from a customer taking risk standpoint, I think it depends on who the customer is, right? So you've got a lot of hedge funds over the last number, couple of years that have uh, suffered dramatically as a result of the financial crisis, and a lot of them have either pulled their, pulled their tails in big or have, in fact, gone out of business. You've got big, massive mutual fund type customers who um, have ridden the storm because they don't, they don't trade like a mutual fund, right? They're much more buy and hold, long-term strategy. So they were never really, quote unquote, risk takers in the sense that they would trade uh, either for m minutes or seconds or pennies or even you know dollars at that point they're in it for the long term so it depends on the customer you're talking about and I think ultimately the risk taper type customers the day traders the hedge funds um, certainly have been impacted because of the financial crisis and as a as a result have a different view on on the capital they put to work and how they put it to work and finally Kenny what are your thoughts on NYSE's rebranding you know, it's really amazing. Today is day one of this rebranding, and I understand that there's actually a video out there that brings this whole thing together, and I'm anxious to see it because I think it tells a lot of the story. I think it is time, I think it was time that the New York Stock Exchange um, NYSE Euronext, in fact, uh, come up with a new kind of brand uh, because I think it's reflective of the, t of the environment that we're in, the global environment that we're in, and the role that the New York Stock Exchange slash Euronext plays in the, in the global marketplace. So I'm happy with it. I'm anxious to see this video, which will kind of give more of, a, more of an insight into, into what the new branding means. All right. Well, Kenny, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure.